when you use your iPhone and you use Face ID, what that system actually verifies is that you're the same person again yeah. logging in. So it's a one-to-one -one verification. Versus if you want to solve this proof of personhood or proof of unique humanness problem, you need to compare one individual against everyone else and you need to make sure that that individual did not verify before. So you need much more information about each participant to make sure the system doesn't break down. So you have fingerprint, you have face biometrics, you can kind of mathematically state how much entropy is, is in each of these and how far would that let you scale. Fingerprint is actually relatively low, so after tens of millions of people, the whole system would start breaking down. One of the only modalities that actually works on kind of truly billion people scale is uh, the eye. The eye has a lot of uh, entropy in it. That's why it's used many airports. Is that because there's certain thing that's stored within the eyes? It's just the structure of your iris. It's the muscle that actually randomly develops when you're very young. Human twins have different, different structure there. So that's why we had to go with that direction. 